Hey guys, this is Jen from FromHeadToToe.com and today I have a super highly requested tutorial. Every time I wear this look in a video, I get so many comments from people really begging for how to do this look. So this is a basically drugstore makeup look and it is using this duo which I've just been obsessed with. It's the L'Oreal Hip Eyeshadow Duo in 510 Electrified with this really gorgeous taupe metallic color and then contouring with this purple plum and I just think this look is super appropriate for fall because during the fall you can get away with more metallic colors and deeper smokier colors so this is sort of a, a kind of like bright smoky eye that you can still wear during the day so if you would like to see how it's done then please keep watching so I'm going to start off using Neutrogena Healthy Skin Foundation in number 60 Natural Beige. This foundation is a lighter coverage, but it layers really well, so just put it all over your face and then just go over additional spots one or two more times where you need extra coverage. And for my foundation, I use the Sigma F84 Angled Top Kabuki. Next, I'm going to set my foundation with Physician's Formula Mineral Wear Powder in Beige. Next, I'm going to prime my eyelids with NYX HD Eyeshadow Base. This is going to help your makeup to last a lot longer and for the colors to be more vibrant. So now to start for the eyes, I'm going to take this half of the L'Oreal Hip Duo in Electrified. It's sort of like a metallic taupe color. I'm just going to take that on my Sigma E55 brush. And right now my eyelids are uneven. This one's been kind of creasing for the last few days. So if you want to see a tutorial on how I do makeup on uneven eyelids, I'll add an annotation right there and you can click and go visit that. But for today, it's not going to matter because I'm going to wear lashes later and that will cover up the unevenness. But just apply this on the main part of your entire eyelid on both sides. You don't want to go too high up. Don't go above your eye socket, which as I've said in many videos, if you don't know where your eye socket is, kind of like push your brush and right there underneath where your brow bone is, that's where your brush will go in. You don't want to go any higher than that. So as you can see, whether you have a crease or not, the eyeshadow is just going to go up to the same point. So the other half of that duo is this smoky plum color and I'm going to use that in the contour of my eyes. So I'm just going to take this on the angled Sigma E70 brush and at the outer corner I'm just going to take the brush and make a little V right at the outer edge. You can draw a fake line like an imaginary line from your lower lash line up to the point of your eyebrow and that's sort of the angle you're going to want to place this in. And then right where the eye socket is, right here where we were playing earlier, you're going to want to do the other wing of the V. Like that. Now bring the lower part down over your eyelid. And then you can blend this up and also in where the top of the main eyeshadow color was. Now I'm going to take a blending brush. This is the Sigma E40 brush. I'm just going to blend out all of the edges of this dark color. So at this point, if you want to darken it up a bit, you can go back and add a little bit more. Don't go all the way to the edge when you're adding more color. Just focus sort of somewhere in the middle, since you already did the edge blending out. And then if you need to, you can always go back and blend more. 
Now taking this E60 large shader brush, I'm using this NYX eyeshadow in vanilla sky to highlight. You don't have to use this exact color, you can use any highlight shade that works for your skin tone. But just lightly put that underneath the brow bone. For eyeliner, I'm using this Wet n Wild gel liner. I'm using the E65 brush. I'm just going to line my eyes. I'm giving a slight wing to the outer corner. And just bringing that color in. Now with any excess liner on your brush, I'm just going to define my lower lash line. I'm only going to go in maybe to the outer third, fading in to the middle point of my eye. Any more in and it's really going to sort of close up the eye, especially if you have smaller eyes. And I really just want to make this look like my lashes are a bit thicker. Now with the E30 Sigma pencil brush, I'm going to go back in with that purple color. And I'm going to smoke out that lower lash line. Now I'm going to take that light eyeshadow that I used for the highlight on my eyes. I'm going to take a little bit on my finger and just going to dab that on the inner corners of my eyes. And that'll just softly brighten up the eyes a little bit. Now I'm going to just curl my lashes and add mascara. I'm using CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume Waterproof Mascara. Next I'm going to apply these Model 21 eyelashes. I think the style is number 63. Now for cheeks, I'm going to use Milani Luminous Blush. This looks a little crazy because I depotted it, but it works just fine. <laughs> Now using my Sigma E40 angled brush, I'm just going to start at the top corner of the apples of my cheeks here and just tap that downward. Now for the lips, I'm just going to use this NYX Black Label Lipstick in Diva. And to give the lips a little more sparkle, I'm going to use this Milani 3D Glitzy Glamour Gloss in number 43. It's kind of a peachy color with some glitter in it. And just because I really honestly don't do my eyebrows every day, I'm going to leave my eyebrows natural. If you wanted to fill them in with a pencil, you can do that as well, but this is what I've been doing, so I just wanted to show you the look as I wear it during the day. So this is the final look. To see more pictures of this look and other tutorials, you can always check out my blog, that's from headtoe.com. If you have any questions for me, you can ask me on Twitter, that's twitter.com slash from head to toe. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please subscribe up there and like and favorite down below. This is Jen, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!